Hello, my name is Clint. Welcome to psalmsing.com. This is the front page where you are now. To get started, click on the green Psalm Sing link up here. To get back to where we just were, you can click on this home button. Now when you first get here, you'll be facing Psalm 8. Um, if you want to view other Psalms, you'll need to log in. So we'll do that. You log in using your Google credentials. This will open up a secure pop-up, uh, which lets you put in your Google account name and password. Google will ask you if you will allow me to see your email address and your basic profile info. If you do that, click Accept. Now then, we're logged in. You can see which account you're logged in with. Psalm 8 is great. For this demonstration, we'll use Psalm 23. Over here, you get a list of all psalms currently available. Uh, more are being added all the time. Now, up here, you look what looks—you uh, see what looks like uh, musical notation. Maybe not the kind you're familiar with. We can get into that in another video. But this is the psalm tone we start out with. To hear what it sounds like, you can press the play button. To hear just one part of it, you can click over here. To hear just one note. You can click on the note. Now notice here in the first part, we've got notes getting higher and higher, and here we've got notes getting lower and lower. Down here in the text of the psalm, you'll see the syllables where you should be changing pitches marked, going up here on my and up on shepherd, down on not and down on want. And you can hear the notes played by clicking on the words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When you're chanting a psalm, you don't, uh, you want to just go with the natural rhythm of speech. This is prayer, this is not performance. Uh, sing like you would say it. Um, so here we've got two parts of the psalm tone up here. And down here, most of the lines are arranged in pairs. First pair ascends, second in the pair descends, first in the pair ascends, second in the uh, pair descends, etc. So it sounds like this. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Down here at the end of the psalm, Things don't quite fit into the pair kind of a pattern. Uh, here we do have a pair, but the first part is broken into two lines because it's quite long, and then here's the second bit. So this just means you'll spend an awful long time on the first note before finally ascending here. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Right now, when you first begin, there will be two different tones available to you. I will work on getting some more available to everyone, and there'll be another video about how to input your own tones and save them to your account. Uh, here is the second I've entered for now. It sounds a little different. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm tones can get fairly complicated, um, which makes them a bit difficult to learn, but once you've got the rhythm uh, in your blood, once you've got the way, the flow of the tone, um, and you've practiced a couple of times, it becomes possible to sing, to pray, uh, just looking over the words, just noticing where the notes rise and fall, uh, and, you know, clicking on a word if you need a bit of a reminder. So that's the very basics. We will uh, discuss some more features in other videos. Thanks.